Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two waters. First up is Cascade Mountain Spring Water. Next up is Bad Oat Sparkling Natural Mineral Water. And these are both in glass bottles and they're both water, even though this one is sparkling. Um, so these are both from San Francisco. I bought these about an hour ago. I'm in San Francisco right now. That's why I'm in this weird room. Um, and I just bought these from like a health food store about a mile away and I'm going to review them now so I don't have to carry them back on the plane. So Badito is from 1778. It's a really old bottle and um, I'm surprised I've never heard of it before. It says it has zero calories, zero fat, says it has 60 milligrams of sodium and zero carbs and zero protein and um, that's that. It's got a metal lid, so is this one. This one is called Cascade. Kind of reminds me of um, dishwasher soap. This one has a high pH level. This is actually over seven pH, or this, at least what it claims. This one is Badotit. It's kind of a weird name. Like, why would you want the first three letters of your brand to be bad? And it sort of looks like the word bidet also, which is not something you really want to associate with something you're going to drink. So anyway, let's just open these up and do a comparison and see which one. Moves on to the next round. This one is a still water, so it didn't bubble up at all. I like that this one is filled so far up to the top. It's like, you know, really high. Sometimes with glass bottles, it's down here, but this one's all the way up there. That's really good. Maybe it's just because I'm really thirsty right now, but that's really, really refreshing. Um, let's try... I don't know how to pronounce this. Bad, badodit. A little bit of bubbles, but not, not a whole lot. Yeah, I don't like carbonated waters. So I'm just gonna say it now. The wonder is Cascade. Not, like, I don't really wanna say it's better, but it is better in my opinion. Cause I just prefer still waters. And um, this, there's no bad aftertaste. That's, that's one of the good things about glass bottles is there's usually like no plasticky taste to it. And no, no, no aluminum taste. That's a really good one. It's a very simple bottle. You know, no flash to it. Like, there's a little bit of text, you know, but even even the name is just engraved into the bottle. The store also had a uh, large version of this, about the same size as this one. But I didn't. I didn't buy it because um, I don't like sparkling waters. So why would I put myself through that? Um, this small one was two dollars. This big one was two dollars and thirty cents. So I think the big one is in, is even a better value, even though it costs more. It was less per ounce. So there you go. Congratulations, Cascade. You're the winner. Um, now I just want to go on like a quick rant about <laughs> like how cheap this hotel I'm in right now is and like just how weird this room is. Let me give you a quick tour. So let's start off with the bed. It's a very low to the ground. It's very, very firm. Not, not a whole lot of padding there. Just the very bare minimum. No nightstand, no lamp next to it, no phone. Just a simple bed, no paintings on the wall. Here is the TV. This would be, this would be very high tech if it was 1998, but for 2017, this is uh, kind of rare to see this in a hotel. Like, you know, it's only one step above being black and white. 
here's the hotel key. <laughs> There's nothing on it. It's like, isn't that weird? Normally they put the hotel's brand or name of the room or something on it. It's just solid blank. Here's the desk. Here's the chair that was fixed with tape. Um, here is a random sink in the room. Uh, there's no toilet in the room. There's no shower in the room. There's just a sink. Here is the mirror. <laughs> now, look at this. Is, do you notice anything weird about this? There's no, like, mirror up here. So I'm guessing there was a mirror up there because it's, like, obviously made for that. So I'm guessing somebody broke the mirror and then they just replaced it with this tiny one. I was telling you there's no shower in the room. That's because everybody on the floor shares the same community shower and the same toilet. The interesting thing is though that there's no sink by the toilet. You have to walk back to your room to uh, clean your hands. And this room is so small, the door doesn't even fit. Look at this. We have to, like, cut out part of the door so it fits between the toilet. And then there's just a hole in the door <laughs> for, the, for the toilet that everybody shares. Here's the window. You might notice there's no air conditioning. There's also no fan in the room at all. No pictures on the wall. But a problem with the window is there's no lock on it either. So anybody from the outside could just push up on it with their hands and just open it and climb in if they wanted to in the middle of the night, which would normally not really concern me very much. But it does a little bit because this is a really terrible neighborhood. Like there's literally a guy sleeping right outside the front door of this hotel. And like the, by the front door, it just smells like pee. And like you can't even walk into the hotel from the front door. You have to like ring a doorbell and then they have to manually unlock the front door if you could even get inside. That's because it's a really bad neighborhood. And um, yeah, there's just a lot of like really creepy people outside. But um, you get what you pay for though. Like I'm saying all these bad things about it, but I'm still happy to live here and spend the night here because um, it's super cheap. It's only like $60 a night for the room, which is cheap for a hotel in general, but in San Francisco stuff and like real estate is usually super expensive. So that low price is like super low for San Francisco. I looked at Airbnbs, and even they were like 150 a night just for a single, you know, bed. So again, you know, you get what you pay for. Um, it's pretty junky, but I spend the whole day going around the city. I'm just here to sleep and do this video, so I don't really care. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good day.